Uh, good morning, Jason Wingard with California Interagency Incident Management Team 13 Operations. Uh, I'm here this morning to give you a operational update of the lake incident. Uh, currently the fire is zoned with Team 13 managing the north zone and CAL FIRE Team 5 managing the south zone. Um, as far as the north zone management goes, we have four branches, seven divisions, two groups, and a night shift with two divisions. Uh, going over to the map, in Division Charlie Delta area, uh, the crews were previously planning to do a backfiring operation in there to square the fire up to the Sasqua River drainage. However, with lower temperatures and higher RHs and unfavorable winds, uh, they were unable to do so. Uh, but with that, uh, they are taking advantage of the cooler temperatures and higher RHs. And we're going to be us utilizing aircraft today in this location to stop the fire right where it is. We're really just going to try and park it there and then the crews are going to go in and uh, start looking at going direct. As we move over into Division Foxtrot, uh, crews have uh, continued to prep around the structures in that location and they have gained access to the fire's edge uh, over by the 8 and 02 road. Uh, they also opened up a road along the wilderness boundary giving them access uh, to the east side of the fire and over into the uh, Davy Brown campground area. Uh, crews will be in there. We are going to be using a UAS out of there to look for uh, infrared, uh, looking at the heat and helping the crews uh, scout for uh, going direct with handline construction as they move into the wilderness. Uh, moving down onto the 8N09 road out of the uh, Davy Brown campground. Uh, the fire did make a push there yesterday. However, the crews were able to contain a slop over that went about 20 acres. Moving farther down around the uh, 7 and 07 road out of drop point 50, uh, the crews were able to contain that slop over that was about 70 to 75 acres. Uh, no issues with that. The rate of spread has stopped. And then as we move down to the uh, Romeo Romeo side to the south zone uh, with our team five partners, we were able to do a backfiring operation last night to clean up the fire's edge in that location. And now I will pass it on to our partners with CAL FIRE team five operations. Yeah, good morning, Jeremiah Whitwer, Operations, CAL FIRE Incident Management Team 5 for the south zone of the lake incident. So we're going to start over here in Branch 20 at the top of the fire over in the Sisquak drainage. Uh, crews continue to keep the fire within the control lines, uh, continue and extended our mop up into well to two to 300 feet. Uh, today we're going to be assessing getting some of these hose lines out of here and back calling any of our resources that were in there. So as you notice, we got quite a bit of black line on the map yesterday and that black line is showing the progression of our crews containing that, that piece of that fire. Uh, down here in the uh, Figueroa mountain area, firing operation that took place two days ago is holding within the control lines. We'll continue to evaluate and show some added containment by hopefully tomorrow morning and get the communities back into their areas um, and get that hopefully reduced into a warning. Uh, down here in this bottom section, this goat rock, we talked about this goat rock. Treacherous country, um, it's a lot of rock, steep areas. But hand crews were in there yesterday and we're gonna have additional hand crews in there. We just have this little piece of line to finish cutting in there. And uh, I could tell you from top to the bottom all the way on the south zone, that'll be our last piece of direct line to get in for the fire. Our priority will be working with the contingency groups over here and uh, getting that area buttoned up and uh, try to keep all the fire to the north. That'll conclude the briefing for the south 